Hey guys, what's up? Tim from Red Goat Garage here. Back on the 57 project. So uh, it's been a little slow going. Uh, life and work and all that good stuff. So um, I'm trying to get these floors done. So let me show you. I started working on it a little bit yesterday. So yesterday I patched up a couple little spots on the floor, like mainly on that side and that back corner for after doing all these patches. And then I also took, then I bought the seam sealer at like O'Reilly's or something like that and put that down just to kind of seal up around every patch that I did. And um, now I'm going to use this guy with this wire cup on it and kind of scrub the whole floor and everything. So I have this product to seal the floors and all that. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but first, I'm, a lot of prep work. So I got to kind of get all the dirt up and if I can get any of this old seam sealer stuff up, I'm going to do that and just kind of scrub the floor. So the stuff I bought it's called a blackout, I believe, from Sweet Patina, which I use their patina sauce on my Cadillac, like you can see over there. Um, and this stuff is supposed to just like encapsulate and cover the whole floor, and make it all like solid and black and everything. So, uh, but first I got to get everything cleaned up. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you can see I took that guy with the wire cut brush and went over kind of everything. I'm taking my wood chisel that's all tore up kind of scraping things I'm gonna vacuum it all I'm gonna take an air compressor blow it all out everything um, and then we should be just about ready I might touch up a couple spots back there at the wire cup on that back because I might as well paint that while I'm at it but I should be just about ready to start with this stuff so let me do that and then I'll show you uh, the stuff that I picked up to do this with all right, here's what I got to do the floors with. So I'm gonna do the inside of the car and the whole underside of the car with this stuff. So this is the main stuff here, this blackout rust preventative. It actually says it permanently obliterates, annihilates, and terminates rust. So, but reading the instructions when I before I ordered this stuff, you need to get some of this Get Gone degreaser, which I've used before, like cleaning engine blocks and stuff. This stuff works amazing. So you do your floor or whatever metal surface with that. Then you do a wax and grease remover, which is from Sweet Patina also. And then you do this stuff. So kind of like a three-step process. So I just finished uh, vacuuming and taking the air nozzle and kind of blowing out as much dirt and dust as I can. So now I'm gonna do the uh, Get Gone degreaser. I would recommend wearing a uh, like a filter, a, a ga like a gas mask type thing with this, because this stuff's pretty uh, potent. Okay, so I just did the Get Gone degreaser. I used maybe a uh, quarter of that bottle. I just did the SP91-4 wax and grease remover, and I mean, it's still all the way up to here, so more than enough for me to do the whole underside of the car too. Next up is the blackout rust preventative, but that's kind of what it looks like right now. I'm going to let this dry really, really well. That wax and grease remover is almost like a, like an acetone or something kind of like that, where it like, it, it's real clear and thin, but it dries real quick. But I'm still just going to let this dry out for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes before we start on that blackout. Okay, I'm ready to put on the blackout. So first, definitely need some gloves. I have a paintbrush and I have a roller. And he says you can do either one of those or you can even spray it, but I probably got to do the roller. I've heard that's kind of the best results. Um, I've also heard you need one that kind of has a little bit of a nap to it. Like usually these guys, these little cabinet rollers are really smooth. And this one has a little bit to it. So hopefully that's enough to, to uh, get it to stick. Um, definitely gonna be wearing a respirator and uh, it's a stir only do not shake so the other thing I read too on the instructions it says like when you go to put the lid back on put like a plastic bag then put the lid because that way it sticks to the plastic bag not to itself 
So let me get all set up here and uh, start start rolling this stuff on. So uh, real quick, um, it's actually nice and thin, so it's really easy to apply. Um, I thought it might be more like a like an oil-based enamel type th you know thing, where it's kind of thicker, but it actually it applies really easy. So either the brush or a, a, a roller would work great, and I think I might even just spray the underside of the car to make it even easier with all those nooks and crannies. So I'm going to keep going here, but yeah pretty happy so far it's easy to go on all right there it is got it all coated the blackout from sweet patina 